Hey there guys, how you doing? NMP or Family of here, welcome back to the channel. So guys, I'm going to be bringing you a, a couple of reviews. Uh, so first of all today, it's going to be the Blue Centurion. Now, I haven't done any reviews for quite a while, so I'm looking forward to getting back into doing reviews. I will do Pudgy Pig in the next video, but he has coming. So Blue Centurion, let's get stuck in. And guys, you know what it's time for? Cue the intro! Power Sword! Right guys, let's get stuck in as I usually do. I usually show you the box first. Now, again guys, as you know, I'm not again a big fan of the new boxes. I love the old boxes, but the new boxes are okay. They're not great, but they're fine. So I'll just give you a close up. Just watch the glare of my light on my camera. Blue Centurion, a rendering of the model, the artwork there, the Power Rangers Lightning Collection, the Turbo Blue Centurion, another artwork there, Power Rangers Turbo, the back showing you what you get and another rendering of the Blue Centurion. Then you just get Power Rangers Turbo, Turbo Blue Centurion and just that's it. So that's the box guys. So I will now move the box to the back and I will get stuck into the figure. Hello guys, here we go. As you can see there we have the figure here. I have him in this pose where he's holding his gun and he's got his badge and his holster. That's how I display them. So before I show him up close, I'll just show you the accessories. You get a blaster piece. You get two fists. You get the baton, which of course is warped, but what can you do? It's just the way they package them so it is, but... Uh, anybody got any idea how to uh, get them on bent? Uh, let me know in the comments. But it's a wee bit of bent, I don't use the button anyway. And then you have these things here. If you can see them. They're his holsters, so there's standard ones with no holster. Then there's ones with holsters. And then of course you have the blaster. And then you have the, the badge which is in his holster. So I'll show the figure up close. Now I have to say guys, I am really impressed with this. Really am impressed with this. My mate Brandon, who's kept to be on YouTube, uh, wasn't too impressed with his. He must have just got a bad model, but mine is superb. So it is. Now, you've seen this guy before because I did an unboxing, but I'm finally getting around to reviewing him. I've just been so busy in my private life, guys. As I say, you know, I'm a wide man now, guys, so, you know, getting time to make videos can be busy life. But, you know, here we are. So there's the figure again. Now, just, it's very good. It really is good. I'll just give you a spin. I need to get a platform, a rotating platform for this. So there's the figure. So of course as you can see there, I put the turbo zords in the background and his Zord the Robo Racer, which you guys have seen. I have done a review of him on his own many moons ago. And I also done him when I done the Turbo Zord review a couple of years ago. I will put both videos in the description. So I will just take the weapon off and I'll just show you the you do get the three combined modes. It's the same basic weapon, but at the end of the day, it's a toy. You can do what you like. It's your own figure. So, there's the blaster, guys. And there is the blaster collapsed into a badge. Then you have the baton, which I've already shown you, which is warped, but they're basically the same. They're the same basic, they're the same weapon, just you get the three modes. Unlike other certain figures, like the Mighty Morphin Blade Blaster. So, and you just have your standard. So, I'll just show you this here. These, these come out, so they do. These come off, so you can have them with holsters 
are not any holsters as you can see there's nothing in that there look guys there's nothing in that and you go and take that one and you just clip it in and that's how it comes out of the box but I prefer to have the uh, the holster on then you can hold his badge in and then you can uh, that one doesn't seem to win very well then you have that bit and it just, you just slot that in and you hear a wee noise that's the way I have mine guys so again the movement on them is fantastic the head does a full rotate there's quite a lot of good movement in the head again as you know guys the arms do a full rotation full 360 so he's very poseable and he is very good I'm, so I'm very very happy with this figure it was a bit of a pain in the arse to stand so he was guys um, but I'll get rid of the accessories here in a minute so right I just kept his weapon so I'm going to do a pose with him holding his gun holding his bat and I'm going to put the badge in the holster if you hear any noises in the background it's just my wife she's she's doing things around the around the flat at the minute so if you hear any noises it's just her um right so we put the bat on in his hand so I'm not happy that it's warped but what can you do guys eh I tried to pose him with the bat on and the gun, but I didn't like it at all. I did not like it at all. I'm just I'll put the guy there so you can see. Sorry about that guys, the wife has walked me a minute or two, so right. With his blaster and with his baton and then you just put his badge in there it's actually quite nice guys to finally have two uh turbo figures i mean hasbro really have been going about it going about it slow or stuff and trying to get us the uh trying to get us turbo figures but as you know now the uh the uh phantom ranger keep calling this guy the shadow ranger but the phantom ranger now has a mate And they were seen fighting together in um, a countdown of destruction. So, well, guys, I think that's all I have to say about this review, guys. I really hope you've enjoyed it. It's nice to get back to do reviews again. And um, I have a wee surprise for you guys on Christmas Day. As I say, I'm recording this now. We're into Christmas week now. So, it's Monday and Christmas is next Monday. So, we're a week from Christmas. So, guys. I have this box here and I'm not telling you what it is. It will be opened on Christmas Day. So I'll be doing a wee surprise unboxing for, for you guys on Christmas Day. I'm not telling you what it is, but you guys are going to like it. I've had it for two weeks. I haven't opened it and I've been really, really resistant to open it. But I'm keeping it for Christmas Day for you guys. Because I'm not getting any figures. So my cousin this year is getting me the Metal Gear Solid uh, uh, Volume 1 um, Master Collection, which I really want. So... So I already have my Christmas Day box for you guys to open up, but I have to you have to wait a week. And it'll be I'll be a slow week to do this for you guys, so anyway guys, I'll just show you the Phantom Ranger and the Blue Centurion together. They do look marvellous, I have to say. They do look marvellous, I do say so. So I can't really do much more. I can't really do much more because turbo wise this is all I have guys this is all I have turbo wise but I'll tell you what I will do transform the Robo Razor for you why not Robo Razor does have lights and sounds, but I have the batteries out of it, so there you are. Just move the fucking ninja over a bit, move the blue centurion over, and there you are. He's beside his car, which looks amazing. So, guys, I will wrap this video up. I hope you liked it. If you're new to my channel, guys, please subscribe. You're very, you are very welcome. And uh, thanks to everybody else who has been who has been supporting my channel and keeping me interested in doing this week hobby, guys. So I will move on in this video and get stuck in the pudgy pig. So let's get a few seconds. Yeah, I'll give you a wee preview of him. I got Pudgy Pig last week. 
if you go onto my channel you will see i done the unboxing but here he is and he is amazing looking so he's next guy so again like the chat like the video subscribe to the channel let me know in the comments what you think and i will see you guys around thanks for watching bye